Hey guys, it's Meme, and look at these trusty sidekicks. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> you know them already, right? This is Shannon, and this is Brenda. Now, Shannon does not have a channel. This is her channel. She works on mine, but Brenda does, and her link will be in the description below if you want to check out Brenda's channel. Thanks. What are we doing today? Uh, um, oh, your guess all is doing the same. <laughs> we're all doing the same thing, but different. <laughs> we are. That's exactly yes. what we're doing. The same, but different. Uh -huh. So, I watch a quilt channel called Missouri Star Quilting, and they do something that they call a triple play, and I love it. I was so inspired by this, and I thought it would be fun to bring my friends in and us take sort of the same project and put our spin on it. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I will tell you this, every time, we're gonna do one of these a month for the year, and every time we do it, it's gonna be a different project. And today it's a card, but watch for different projects to come as we go. I'm excited. Are I you mean, excited? This, I really yeah, am, fun. because we all are so different. It'll be more fun when we learn how to film all this and get it yeah. all done, because we're yeah. still trying to learn how to do it, but we're gonna try to get it done. Let me tell you, let me talk you through what our challenge is. How about that? That's good. Our challenge was to use a card sketch and you can see my little card sketch right here. And I got to tell you something. It is so rough. I literally like drew this <laughs> on my iPad with an eye pencil, like very sketchy, <laughs> but this was our sketch. Now, if you don't know what a card sketch is, let me quickly describe it to you. With a card sketch, it's where you see kind of the basic placement of what you should put on a card. Some people use these to help them in their designing of their cards and their creating of their cards because they need a little bit of direction to get started. So I thought that'd be fun for us. I Listen, I thought it was great, but you had to explain the sketch to me. <laughs> and I'm glad you said I'm that. I'm not a card maker. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because I want to explain this. The card sketch is really just showing you where elements need to go. It is not telling you you need a half circle and you need a ribbon and you need a something here. It's only saying you need an element here, an element here, an element here. Does that make sense? It, it, it did after you explained it twice. But I'm a copycat, <laughs> so I wanted to do exactly that. Exactly. And I, I think we kind of did the same first, but now we've got the hang of it. I think it's going to be totally different. I don't know. If you look at mine, it looks pretty much like that. I don't know what I said. All of us did this first time, but maybe next time we won't. So real quick, we're going to show you. I'm just going to move the card sketch over a little bit, and we're just going to put a card up. So let's let's do this. Let's put Brenda's card up so you can see what she did. So this is Brenda's card from the sketch. And real quick, I'm going to let Brenda kind of introduce it before we show you her process because we filmed the process too. Good. Y'all know I was dying to use the watercolor pencils, Tim Holtz watercolor pencils, so that was kind of what drove my choice that I did here. I tried not to do it exactly the same by doing the camera, but, you know, hey, it's a process. I don't think it's exactly the same, and I'm excited for y'all to see how she did it, so let's check that out. I started with my card. I was dying to use these watercolor pencils, so that was the basis of why I chose what I chose. I was going to let my paper work for me, so I chose the colors that, that were bright, the colors that I liked, and I co covered my card base, and then after I covered my card base, I used a little trick that you all have seen me do before. I took my watercolor paper and tore it. It was It's super easy. It gives it a dimension. I wanted it to have more dimension, so the rugged edges give it a dimension, and then when you pop it up, it also gives you a dimension, so you've got a lot going on. was dying to use these watercolor pencils. They are absolutely fabulous, and I wanted to use every one of them. Y'all knew I couldn't use just one, so I had to use every one of them, and all the colors that I wanted to blend, but if you'll look, I use the colors that blend good together. The yellow goes in the green good, the green goes into the blue good, and it, it just kind of flows through. So watch where you place your colors because that's what you want. You want them to blend beautifully. And then I let this watercolor paper work for me by making the camera and also the um, words have the watercolor effect. So I fussy cut. I love to fussy cut, so I fussy cutted the camera out. And if you'll notice, if you'll notice that the camera has um, a lens and it also has a flash. So after I got uh, my words on it that I wanted, because it was about memories, memories were something that was means a lot to me. And cameras, of course, take all the pictures. But I also rounded these in edges because the camera was rounded at the top and I wanted it to kind of blend in together. And for my stripes we had to have, 
I love, y'all know I love to use this, so I just tied it together so it would have more dimension, and then I popped up my little camera, and if you'll see on the lens, it's, it's, lens are dark, so you want it to have a little shadow there, and that gives it another dimension, so, and I just, I just kind of did the flash with a little bit of yellow, and then after I finished with that, I got my saying on there and then pop my camera on there and I will give you all a tip tip that I wish I had done differently I wish I'd have made my camera a different color so if you're gonna copy it make your camera a different color but if you'll look there there's so many dimensions on there but I had to have a little bling so here we go love these new blings we have and one more thing can't have a camera without a strap. So I had to get the strap on there, which took a little time, but I really think it was worth it in the end to get that done. Um, notice I also did put some more rhinestones on there after I, after I stood back and looked at it. And that's something that you can do is stand back and look at it. And if you want to add something or you want to edit it, that's fine too. So look how cute that little strap is. I was so excited how it turned out. So, Brenda, I really love all the color you use. Like, I'm not, I, I can't do this. <laughs> I try, but I just don't. Is there anything you would have changed doing your card? The only thing I really would have changed, I'm going to tell you what I like, I think, the most about it first. I like my little strap. <laughs> it's cute. Right. It's cute. I like my little strap. But I would change this. I would either make my camera or my sentiment a different color. Mm. I think the two blues caught my eye. I thought this was a little bit different color, but once I got it all glued down, and I, I, I thought, mm, I wish I'd have, and it probably would have been the sentiment, a different color, probably the pink. Can I say something I think is cool about it? Why? Because I, I want to make sure we point this out. One thing I love with your camera, what you did, so you stamped it onto watercolor paper. So you did watercolor here, but you let this watercolor paper do itself, right? But then you went in and added some shadow element. Right. I would have never that. thought to do that. Well, and I strategically placed it. If you'll see, this stripe right here is light, and this one is fades into the darker, and then the dark at the bottom. So that gives it some more dimension, too. I wouldn't have thought to do it, but no. that's well, an artist eye. Yeah. Well, true. <laughs> well, y'all are like, all artists. No, we are crafters. You are an artist. <laughs> Hey, right, I'm a crafter too, okay? You are, you are. Well, that's where the strap came from. Right. Yeah. There you go. That's my crafty, that, that and the tearing part. That's crafty. Well, I think that's amazing. I love Brenda's <laughs> card. And I, I think she very well went with the sketch, but very far off the sketch. So I like it. I love I like it. it it's, it's just very Brenda. It is, it is very it's Brenda. Just, it's perfect. All right, guys. You want to see Shannon's? I know you do. Let's, <laughs> let's trade them out. Let's put Shannon's there. Ready? All right, Shannon. I love your card. Before we see your footage, because Shannon filmed her footage for you guys as well, Tell us about your card. So when we decided we were going to do this challenge, I knew that I had to use this 49 and Market um, Countryside Homestead. Um, it is just absolutely gorgeous. If you are a farm person, you are going to love this paper. Um, I had Taylor pull me everything we had from it when this came in, so I knew I was going to use it for something. It's funny you say if you're a farm person. We've made two projects with it so far, and, I, and neither have been farming. I'm, no, and I'm they're not, not. I'm not a farm person, but and see, I would love it. Yeah. See, and you don't. You kind of notice in the background it has chicken wire. Oh, I didn't even. Yes. Did not even notice yeah. that. And then there's like a little newsprint, which might be actually a um. A seed packet or something. Oh, I don't cool. know, but I just cool. loved the paper. If you're new here, first time, just to let you know, we have an online craft store. It's maymaymadeit.com. It's linked below. So all the products we're showing you today, you can find those there linked below. You can pick them up, the 49 market, all that good stuff. All right, Shannon, let's check out your footage. So for my card, I decided to go on and get my card base cut. Um, first, I have to figure out which way I want my card base to go because I always forget which way you have to put it, the paper in to get it cut the right way. So once I finally got that figured out, um, I wanted to use this paper since it came in. May May used it in the live show and I absolutely loved this paper. All the green in it is right up my alley. So um, on the back side of the front cover, it has all of these cut aparts. And I knew with all the layering from our um, card sketch that I wanted to use some of these elements to achieve the goal we were trying to go for. So I fussy cut the um, leaves out 
and it took a, a pretty little minute. These are very delicate little leaves, and um, but they were they were so pretty, and I had to use them. And once I finally get those cut out, you'll see um, I go and use this knife. Mama says I'm fussy because um, I had to cut this little center out, but you can't put the white blob in the middle of this pretty card. So I got that cut out, and then I decided I needed to ink the edges up because um, I kind of want my card to have a little rusty feel to it and not be so fresh. And um, so I got it all inked up. And then for this um, section that I had jutting in, um, I wanted to use our new die set that has the ticket stub edge and cut out that section that looks like a ledger paper. And I got it out and we had the new ribbon or lace come in from 49 and Market and it is beautiful. So I found that and then it takes me a little while to figure out um, how I want to place everything. And I realized when I cut my front sheet that I didn't leave myself room to make a mat. So I went back to the paper pack and I had this beautiful black and I cut a piece out for the mat and then um, placed everything down and figured out where the layout needed to be. Um, cause everything wound up once I got my paper cut being a little larger than I thought. So I, um, found the stamp set I wanted to use and had to play around with placement of the dies to get everything to fit on the front of the card correctly. So once I got, um, all my dies cut, I could see exactly where I wanted things to go. I, um, got it all laid out on my stamp set, laid out on the Misty so I could stamp it all. And, um, then uh, once that got stamped, I could cut it and figure out more of the placement. And um, I taped my lace down. And once I got that taped down, I could figure out where to place the little juts of paper coming in. Um, since I inked my leaves, I wanted to ink the edges of the card just to give it all that rustic look. I wound up laying and I didn't... Um, layer each piece with foam. I just did the two sentiment strips together and then foamed those up on top of the lace. And um, then you cut the edge off and you can see I went back and uh, inked the edge because that um, lace wants to poke out some and it was making me unhappy. Then I, I propped my um, greenery up and cut the edge of it off. And then we put it on our black background and pop it up with some Scotty. And once we get all that done, we can put it on our card base. And it's such, such a beautiful paper pack. And that was my card. Shannon, I just love those leaves on there. I mean, and I know everything I, and the paper is just wonderful. <laughs> but uh, as always, I am gonna ask you because I had something I would change. Is there something you would change? Um, I'd probably try to add a little more color into it. It wound up being a little, I don't know. I, I feel like I'd have done, I don't know, something, something, maybe a flower or something up in here. Or That's something. so funny because my favorite thing about it is, is the monochromatic. Me too. Yeah. Well, like, I like that. Isn't that funny how we see things? Yeah. Plus, I, and it's so Shannon. When Shannon sat this card down, we, Brenda filmed her card first, then me and Shannon did ours the same day. When she sat it down, I went, ah, oh, you nailed this. Like, yes. that's really good. Yes. I think it was really, really good. good. Thank you. Really good. All right, I'm nervous to show you mine. <laughs> Never. Theirs are so good. Oh. I'm happy with mine, but I'll show you. So, I told you I have a hard time not following the brief, like, <laughs> jumping off. And in my opinion, that dolly jumps off the brief. That's my only thing. I thought, that dolly does it. <laughs> Honestly, I, it was a lot of fun to do, but I struggle so hard not oh. doing a half circle and a ribbon. Like, I struggle with um, card sketches. But I enjoyed doing this, and I hope you guys like it, too. I did film my process, so let's check that out. So we got in this paper pack called Little Robin Redbreast, and I was in love with it. And I love the fact that it had a bunny in it. So that's what I wanted to lean toward was an Easter card. So using some of our new products, this is a new die set that we have that I'm absolutely in love with. It's the Postage Edge. And then, of course, a doily. Why? Because I feel like spring cards need doilies. I just lean to that that time of year. So I put the little doily there to work off of the card sketch. And I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I struggle with card sketches because I always want to do exactly what I see. And so I really tried to not do that in this one. But I still think I kind of went exactly with the sketch. And this velvet ribbon, 
I couldn't wait to use it. It is so beautiful. So here's what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm gluing only half of that doily to the back and instead of cutting it off, sometimes those little doilies are so flimsy that if you cut that edge, it'll kind of lift in the envelope. So that's why I wrapped it around and then popped it up. Now you're gonna see me use yellow tape here, okay? I suggest scotch, that's what you should use, but I couldn't find my scotch tape and I don't know why. So I was like, I'm just gonna use yellow tape. And I probably was a little overzealous by taping every single one down individually, but for me, it was easier. And so I thought, I'm just gonna do it. So if you wanna just tape them all down at one time and if you're good at that, go for it. But I had to do one at a time. Okay, part of our challenge was a stamp set and using two images from the stamp set or two elements from the stamp set. So I chose this little bunny because I thought it would be so cute like popping up out of the um, little ribbon here. And I actually ended up changing my design, which kind of made me sad, but it's okay. It's still cute. All right, it's coloring time. I didn't want to color with alcohol markers because I felt like unless I did a really perfect job, it was not going to match the paper very well. So I thought um, color pencils would give me a little bit of grace, a little bit of texture, and it would knock the, um, knock the sheen back a little bit, make it look, feel a little more matte kind of like the rest of the card. And so that's what you see me doing here. I did use my blender pencil. I feel like it kind of smooths out some of the lines and all images need white somewhere. So that's why the white pen came out. Here's where I'd made a change. I was supposed to put him between the ribbons and I ended up putting him above it, but it's fine. It looks cute. All right, my second image from the stamp set. It is I can't remember what I used. Oh, somebody loves you. That's what it was. And I went with brown instead of black, which is unusual for me, but I felt like this card didn't have a lot of black and I thought the brown would really uh, make an impact. Although on camera, it looks, blank, uh, it looks black, but it is brown. Okay, I tried something here. These little tiny foam dots, which by the way, those are the greatest foam dots I've ever used, ever. They worked between the ribbon and I just glued this guy. Actually, I popped him up and I was gonna glue him down, but I forgot about the dimension of the ribbon, so I had to make that little edit. And then I added a little pearl embellishment just for some shine, and that is my card. That is a beautiful card. I love the little peekaboo bunny. He is so cute. <laughs> and I love the fact that you put the pearls on it too, because to me that's so Easter. Yeah, it is. The pearls are so Easter. It is. But is there something you'd do different? Well, about 50 things. <laughs> but <laughs> honestly, I wish I would have embossed the background okay. to yeah. give a little texture. Yeah. I think it's too flat. And I also wish I'd have put the bunny where it was supposed to go. I think I <laughs> talked where about where was it supposed to go? Okay. So my ideal, my idea for this bunny, I wanted this to sort of feel like a fence. Okay. And I wanted him to look like he was coming out of a fence. Oh, cute. Right? Not yes. that it was a fence. So yes. he was supposed to be tucked under that little bit of teal. Yes. And I was going to like use dimensional foam and pop his ears up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And somehow I glued him down differently. And honestly, I didn't really realize it until I was doing my <laughs> voiceover crazy? footage. Yeah. Isn't it crazy how you do that? It, and I think, I really think that's the two things I would change. Because um, everything else I'm, I'm pretty happy with. I feel like. I feel like the velvet ribbon did what I wanted it to do. Yes, I wanted it to make beautiful. it. It's a, I wanted it to feel a little vintage, but not. I love it. I, what I love are the colors. This oh, paper is just. Oh, Y'all, this is that red. Gorgeous. Red ro robin red breast. Oh, it's yes. so hard to say, but I'm going to tell you something. It is stunning paper. And this is only just one, one example of it. You've got to buy the paper. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And also the ribbon. I mean, I know it wasn't bought to go with this. No. But it blends with so many mm -hmm. things. It would even blend with this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, I, I love that ribbon. I did a Shannon thing, too. Y'all probably noticed it, the flower. This is, yeah. I had finished the card, and I didn't have the flower on it. And I'm like, it's just missing something right here. Like, it was so plain. And I was like, when in doubt, flower Flowered out. Up. <laughs> We did, right? So Power up. <laughs> love it, love it. It was so much fun to do this challenge, you it guys. Was. It was. I can't wait for the next one. I mean, I'm seriously nervous about the next one. We're going to step it up. The reason we're doing these once a month is because we need time to do our projects. So you'll see them <sighs> yes. once a month. Um, I enjoy doing it, and I like seeing our different processes, especially like you mentioned when we were first getting ready to do it. We walked around the store to kind of look at what we were going to yes. use. And it was so interesting because... Like walking with Brenda, she's like, oh, I'm going to use this, I'm going to use this. And I'm like, I would never even think to use that, <laughs> no. you know. Well, and the same thing with you all. I'm if like, you, oh, I wish I would use that. Why didn't I, why didn't I see <laughs> yeah. that? Let's bring all of them back over because I think it's really cool to see them all at the same time. Um, because look how, I mean, they are so completely different. And we started with this. Isn't that cool? 
I just, I've never heard of it. I had never heard of this process. Yeah. But I think it is the coolest process. Okay, guys, you got to tell us what you think. We enjoyed this. Yes. Loved very it. Very much. Very much. We want to keep doing it, but we yes. want to know if you want to see it. So would you like to see us do this again? Not with a card. Next time we'll do something else. We've got a lot of stuff in mind, and we just want to know if you want to see it. The other thing I'm going to challenge you to do, and you know it's coming. We don't care. It's not a competition. No, no. It is. We love. No. <laughs> She's like, it is, but it's it not is. a competition. It is, but I want to win. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> What's your... <laughs> I, can't, I can't even. What's your favorite? Now, listen, you don't have to pick a favorite card. You could just pick a favorite thing, a technique. You could say, well, this was my favorite technique I saw today. But we'd like to know what, what caught your eye. You don't have to call it your favorite. You can just say, this caught my eye. And I'm going to tell you what catches my eye every time I look at this stack is Shannon's card. It just oh, catches my eye. Me thanks. too. I like Shannon's too. And and one of the reasons I like Shannon's is it's something I have a hard time doing. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> Exactly. But I think that's how we all are because yeah. I also love the watercolor. I do too. Mm -hmm. I love the watercolor and I love my maze. It's just so, I don't know, it's just so it's spring so, and May -may. I guess we're ready for spring. Just so much love in the room. We just, just love, love, we love, we just love, love each other. <laughs> they're all different. We really do. But that's what's cool about it is all the difference yeah. in seeing yes. it. They're the same, but they're different. The same, but different. This is why I would love watching this channel, this, this, this process. Yeah. Is because it gives me an idea of how oh, everybody else no, I'm not. I'm not alone. I do do different than everybody else. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should have called this same but different instead of three's a charm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I like three's a charm because I, I think they're too. all charming, and I, I think too. all three of them turned out great. All right, guys. One more thing before you go. I would love for you to head over to Brenda's channel and oh, give her yes. a quick little subscribe. You'll just click her little button, and she's gonna tell you about her channel real quick. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's Brenda Berry Just Peachy, and it's just my southern wine all about Brenda. It's kind of fun. You'll you'll love her channel. We'll link it below so you can head down there and um, subscribe. For Shannon, you'll find her wherever I am. <laughs> like I'm going to drag her around. And I'll be there when they let me tag along. <laughs> We're, we tag along as much as we can. But Shannon is pretty much, um, she's actually the sidekick. But we won't Don't tell the, we won't tell the tell other me. sidekick. Don't right? tell Vinny. Don't, Don't tell, tell Vinny. Don't me. I thought I was the son. <laughs> That's our t-shirt. Don't tell Vinny. Don't tell Vinny. That's, there you That's go. our t-shirt. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for being here. We hope you enjoyed this as much as we did making it. And until next time, bye now. See ya. Mm -hmm.